Mount Hood got a pretty good jolt last night with an earthquake strong enough for some people all the way in Portland to feel it. As Tim Gordon reports, the 3.9 magnitude quake was the latest in a swarm of tremors. There's been a fair bit of shaking going on on Mount Hood. Last night's 3.9 quake hit about 10 minutes to 9, just a few miles south of the summit, and government camp felt it. Yeah, it didn't knock me off my feet. Yeah, it wasn't too crazy, you know. It was just a, like a shake of the building. Andy Diaz is a server at Charlie's Mountain View restaurant. He was getting ready to go home when it happened. And I was like counting my tail, and then all of a sudden I feel the building shake. And I thought it was like, like look over, and I thought it was maybe my coworker like making a milkshake but it wasn't. <laughs> Diaz was not alone feeling the earthquake. It was the strongest in a swarm of them, the others mostly magnitude one or weaker. The earth is doing its thing. Welcome to earthquake country. USGS scientist Robert DeGroote says the 3.9 earthquake activated the relatively new shake alert early warning system. And what that means is that the system detected the earthquake, processed the information, and then made that information available to potentially be delivered. But it wasn't strong enough to trigger mass early warnings to people's phones or apps. Still, people felt it pretty far out. There was some light shaking from this earthquake, and, and one of the people from government camp said they felt several earthquakes. But this event was is big enough for it to be felt uh, in the Portland metro area. Uh, very, very, very minor shaking, but people could feel it potentially. Of course, Mount Hood is a volcano, and earthquakes can be associated with volcanic activity. But the seismologists at the Cascade Volcano Observatory and the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network don't believe this swarm of quakes signifies a change in volcanic hazard on the mountain. But they'll be monitoring. And one of the things they'll be monitoring is aftershocks. They say you can expect those to continue over the next hours and days. And if nothing else, this is a good reminder for all of us to be prepared for a bigger earthquake or other natural disaster. Tim Gordon, KGW News.